Baja Minute number one podcast in the universe. We live in Park Hill, Denver, Colorado, with Finesse B himself, man. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Just, just working, man. Another interview. I appreciate you for tapping in and doing this with me. I feel like it's been long overdue. Yep, definitely, definitely. He's supposed to be in tapping with the hood. You know what's up. Hell uh, yeah. I know you uh, You came on the, the show, what was that, like four or five months ago? Yeah, the Street Nerds Street interview. Nerds. Yeah, but this is like a, a real exclusive, so All know, right. let, let's talk about it, man. So first off, um, born and raised in Park Hill? I was born in Denver, but... I came from East Oakland, California. You feel me? I came out here when I was like young as fuck. You feel me? Back and forth. Then I officially permanently moved out here like in what, 06, 07. I went to what, Hallett Elementary, right up the street. I went to Smiley, got kicked out of Smiley. You feel me? So pretty much all Denver area I'd have been around here. When I first moved to Denver, I moved on 29th and Oneida. So that's where I was. That's where I resided in Park Hill. First step in Denver. That's where I be, you know, that's where it all began. Okay, cool. You said you were born in East Oakland? No, I was no, I was born out here, but like literally by accident. It was crazy. We was out here for a wedding and shit I popped type shit. Oh, but we cool. wasn't living out here yet. And oh, then okay. we just ended up transitioning out here. My whole mom's side of the family from Denver. My whole dad's side of the family from like Oak Park, Sacramento and shit. That's oh. where all my that's where all my dad family is. Okay. Yeah. So were you like pretty young or do you still remember living in Cali? No, I remember. You feel me? I mean, shit, I was I was young, but I don't like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I'm from Cali because I'm yeah, like, yeah. I can't tell you about the streets. I can't tell you where shit is. Nigga, I lived out here. Right. I grew up out here. You feel me? So that's that's why I said, nigga, I'm from Park Hill, Denver. Okay. From no, Denver. Okay. Uh, what was uh, life like in Cali that you do remember? You know? Uh, shit, fast. You feel me? You know, more expensive. It was, it was cool. You feel me? My mom had a good job, and she always worked good jobs, so we had big houses and shit. So it was cool. Uh, you know, other than that, like I said, the violent part. And my dad, he was a full time gangbanger. That's what he did. That's just, that's how he lost his life. That's just that was him. So the fast life, you know, I seen it. You know, my grandma went to uh, prison with my dad for a dope case. So yeah, it was it was like that. It was like that. So it, it but other than that, you know, we came to Denver after that. So basically, after my dad got locked up, we was forced to come to Denver. Okay. How yeah. old were you when you say you officially like moved to Denver and stayed? Shit, out? probably like I was probably like ten. Probably like ten. So yeah, basically, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah like ten years old. But were you always like into music, or were you into like sports or anything? No, it was crazy. No, I play sports. I play sports for show. You feel me? And I was into music. I started rapping like eighth grade. You feel me? I started rapping, and honestly, on some real shit, I started rapping with that nigga Active. It was uh, freshman year. We took it kind of a little bit serious. We was rapping a little bit. I was practicing on the uh, computer, like basically like I do now. And uh, we was like recording. And stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was just recording little shit. We was using Audacity, that uh, old school program. So we was using Audacity, and we was recording on that for a little minute. And we didn't take it serious. We just, we just was like, you know, we could rap. But I wish I took it serious, cause I would have had like a few years head start on the game. You feel me? Like yeah, yeah. I didn't take it serious. Shit, we did other shit. We was in the streets, whether it was sports, whether it was whatever. We just was occupying ourselves with other shit. So we didn't take the music serious. It just the, the scenery. I don't know when it's popular back then. You feel yeah. me? Like it is now. You feel me? It just wasn't. So we didn't take it serious like we should have though. Okay, that makes sense. Um, what high school did you go to? G Dub got kicked out of G Dub. Uh, got sent to Central. Got kicked out of Central. Got sent to my Bello. Got kicked out of my Bello. So I mean, shit, I done bounced around. But you know, G Dub. I, I rep G Dub. That's why we're freshman sophomore year. Okay. And then got kicked out. So other than that, it was it was smooth though. It was did you, smooth. Did you end up graduating or? Did you nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't graduate. Feel me? Uh, just a lot of shit was going on. It was just too much going on. Uh, my dad, my stepdad. So my my biological father uh, died. I had a stepdad took in place. He got whacked out here. He got whacked on the east side. So you know, I stopped fucking. I just stopped fucking going to school. I just said fuck it. Feel me? I just it was too much going on. So I, yeah, I, ain't, I ain't finished school. I was fighting too much in school, so it, I didn't care. My condolences. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, how, you, you straight. How did you kind of learn from that or kind of grow from that? Because, you know, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't really be able to handle that type of situation. No, a lot of people can't handle, you know, that's why I tell them you can't walk in my shoes. But, I mean, I'm different. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm just an average nigga, so I'm different. I handle it certain ways, whether it was... Through sports, whether it was gang banging, whether it was doing something, you feel me? I just cope with shit different. But the music really helped. 
Okay. That shit really helped, you feel me? And that's why I take it so serious now. Like, it helped. Okay, cool. Uh, as far as, like, sports and stuff like that, was it mostly football? No, nah, I played uh, football, basketball, and lacrosse, and I was ranked eighth in state out here. In, 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 in lacrosse. lacrosse? In lacrosse? Oh, God. I had I had opportunities, low-key with scholarship, but I just, like I said, I was a fuck-up. Like, I couldn't, academically, I couldn't stay on the field. That was the yeah. problem. Like, yeah, I, I know I had the talent, but academically, it was me fucking up in class, me doing too much ditching. I couldn't, to the point where on some real shit, the G-Dub coach was letting me play. Like, I got kicked out, and he still let me play on the team. Oh, like, okay. they was like, we need you type shit. Yeah. But I'm like, hey, fuck it. If y'all rocking with me, I'm rocking with y'all. So, yeah, it, it was like that. I played sports for sure, though. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm nasty, too. I ain't even gonna lie to you, now. I'm that nigga at that. Yeah, now you said uh, you said you're ranked eighth. In, eighth in, in state in lacrosse. Oh God. So were you? And you said you were starting to get looks by like college. Yeah, or? I I know what's it called. A lot of teams in the south, a lot of JUCO teams and stuff, was looking at me. Not, like nothing hella crazy, but yeah. it was something. It was something that's crazy to me. You feel me? I'm like right. shit. You looking? That shit. That's important. Like. I know Regis tried to get me to Regis, uh, the high school, when yeah. I was playing for George because we were so shitty that they was trying to recruit me. Like, I was like the only nigga that was able to score on them type of niggas, you feel me? So it was crazy. So, I'm sure, like, shit, say the academics were better, you probably would have got even like. No, nah, no, most D1 definitely. You know, some real shit. If my dad was in my life, I probably would have took a different route because my stepdad was different from my, my biological father. Like I said, my biological father, full time gang member, stepdad, kind of like military strict. He kind of got me on the manner side, the respect side. So he, he raised me on some, I mean, up until he passed, you feel me? So I, I learned a little bit from him, you feel me? So he would, but he kept me aligned on God. Like, he just wasn't with the fuck shit, me fucking up in school. So he pushed me to the point where I was all right. But, I mean, I went the best like, academically, but I was I was all right. I was passing at least. So, yeah, yeah. But then after that, you know, I mean, I ain't, had no, I ain't had no motivation. I ain't had no push. My mom wasn't strong enough, so I was trying to be there for her. So I just stopped caring. I just yeah. stopped caring, man. I ain't care. Everything all good with your mom now? Oh, yeah. We, we straight. You know, we just get through it. I mean, you lose people. I mean, at the end of the day, we all got to die, though. You feel me? So, right. you got to go through it. Everyone. That's you got to go through it. That's real. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask you a different question when it comes to that because, um, I don't know, sometimes I'll be watching interviews about, like, Chicago artists and stuff like that, and they'll be talking about how they didn't necessarily feel comfortable going to school because of, like, ops and shit. Would you say it was kind of like that all out here in, in Denver? Nah, see, because it, it's different now. Like I said, back then on some real shit, we was fighting. You didn't really have to bring a gun to school because a nigga wasn't going to pop you. you like, it, it's different now, though, God. Like, yeah. niggas just pop you. It's stupid. It's kind of dumb. Yeah. But that's kind of just how it is. That's the society we live in. It's the generation. So, But in school, we was fighting. It wasn't, you didn't have to be scared to come unless you couldn't fight or something. But yeah, yeah. we was getting down. I mean, if it was that, we saw the op, you got a problem, nigga. What's up? Like, it was just... It was that simple. It wasn't no, and like I said, we really made a name for ourselves fighting in school on God. Especially like I said, me and active on some real shit. We was just in school together. That's that's what we was doing. We was beating niggas up. Like I don't know, get over anger, whatever. It was. It wasn't even always on just us. We did stupid shit like start race riots, punching on Mexicans for what? I don't know. <laughs> just we just did that though. God, like we was just on some dumb ass shit. But I mean, we did that. Right, that's okay. what we was doing. So it wasn't. You really had to be scared about a nigga popping at you, cause. Yeah. You was gonna get jumped at worst. That was the worst that was gonna happen to you. You was gonna get jumped. I mean, or stabbed, stabbed, I guess. But that that wasn't really gonna happen. It wasn't. It wasn't that deep. Yeah. But when you got older, like when we start hitting like eighteen and shit, yeah, niggas start pulling burners on us. They ain't wanna fight no more. Like nigga, don't hit me. No fuck that. I seen what you did. Like nah. I'm, so that's kind of why niggas really started carrying burners heavy. Like it's fuck. We didn't have to, but you gotta grow with the society. You kind of got to. You gotta adjust to it. The fade is a gun now. Yeah, <laughs> that's just it. It's done, but that's how it is. Now you're right though, because what what was that? A couple months ago, there was a shooting at Hinkley, and then the shooting at a park right next to Aurora Central. Yeah, it's definitely getting. It's, getting yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy for sure. Okay, so you say you started rapping in like eighth grade. When would you say you started like taking it serious and like going to the studio, actually recording and stuff like that? Um. Probably like three years ago, three, four years ago. That was about it. Uh, I tapped in with Lus. I know if you know Lus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lus, he been making beats and shit for like everybody. But see, I was like the first to meet that nigga. Like he ain't know nobody out here. I ain't have shit at a point. I think this was when I was at my lowest on some real shit. Like I, me and this nigga, I was living in this nigga's studio on the floor. You feel me? I, yeah. 
I was like, but this is what we was doing every day was making music. So I'm like, you know, he was like, I live in the studio, shit, you can live here too on type shit. You feel me? I ain't had no kids or nothing yet. But I was like, you know, I want to I wanna start rapping. I want to take it serious. But I'm like, you make beats and shit? He's like, yeah, I can make your whole album. I'm like, yeah, because I ain't really trying to fuck with no more YouTube beats. Niggas be rapping on the same beats. I don't like that. Yeah, that yeah. bothers me. Right. So he made my whole first album. I came out with a 400 album. You feel me? Like, literally, kind of like for the homies. I literally just came out with a whole 400 album. Even though I'm from Deuce 9 and shit, I just came out with a 400 album. So that's on SoundCloud. That shit old though, but it's on SoundCloud. It's still oh, on SoundCloud. Oh God, it's, that's like when I was young. So that's when I was rapping. I took it serious though because even me and him got into it. He ended up giving a couple of my beats away, and I was tripping on them about it. Like my nigga, like I, I just told you I don't like YouTube, so why would you give my beats away? But yeah. you know that's it's still a homie though. You feel me? Like he talented, and that's one thing I never take from that man. He talented. He real talented at what he do, and. You know, I just pray that nigga get far, you feel me? Because we all working in the same boat. He didn't see me at the bottom. I didn't see him at the bottom. But our work ethic is real, you feel me? Like, we work for real at this music shit. I've been working grind nonstop since I met the nigga. No, yeah, I would say ever since I started paying attention to your music, like, it drops. I, 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 could, I could drop five albums today. That's how much music we got. Unreleased shit you've never heard, and it's going to smack. Like, I can drop five albums today. Like, that's how much music we got. We exercise this shit at this point. We just use it as an exercise. Okay. It's easy. It's rap shit easy. You feel uh, me? Uh, Lust, when I interviewed him, he was he was talking, you know, like a lot about you. You know what I'm saying? Talking about like how y'all both helped each other out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was times where he would. It's funny how you say like he was helping you out because in his interview he was talking about times like where. He said you. I did. Him. No, I did. Too. But I'm just, you know, I'm a real nigga. You feel me? Like, you scratch my back, I scratch your back type shit. I'm not just going to watch you be down when I'm rising up, though. But, I mean, I got on my shit. That's all it was. We just got on our shit separate times. So, yeah. at the end of the day, I'm like, you know, you don't cross me. We cool. I mean, I'm, I'm, I help you. Ain't nothing wrong with right. that. You feel me? Like, that's how I looked at it. So, he, he a good nigga, though. Nah, that's real. Okay. Um, let's, let's talk about some of your hits uh, on your YouTube. It looks like on your spe specific page, the biggest song is is hit 'em up with uh, with hit a braids and active root at 21k. Yeah. And then you got one with scrams. Uh, Amos have violations. Violations, yeah. And that was at 20k. Yep. How did those two come together? Hit 'em up, like I said, bro. We just we was just rapping. On God, we was just rapping. Even with it's nothing. I got back from Kansas. I came back from Kansas. We shot. We, we recorded that shit that day and shot a music video the next day. And that nigga Aubrey shot that. And he shot it to us literally the next day after that. So that's how it, I, that came about too. But hit him up. I don't know. We was just, like I said, we was fucking around in the studio. We was just fucking around in the studio. And then uh, it came out a banger. That's all we really do though. We just be bullshitting. We don't. Sometimes we be like, if the beat hard enough though, if the beat's hard enough, we gonna provide the right, you feel me? Like lyrics, we gonna provide the right, you know, energy on the beat, and that's how it came about. I can't even explain how Hit 'Em Up came about. We just, we be in the studio fucking around. It's yeah. just, yeah, we just be fucking around, and it became a hit. And when we heard it at the end, and that's what it be. We listened to it right at the end when everything done, and it's like, damn, we gotta shoot a video to that. Like right. that right there is hard. Like yeah, we gonna shoot a video, so we just ended up linking up, shooting that shit. You feel me? Do you think? Uh, did you think they were gonna do numbers like that? Or? No, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't think any of this shit was gonna do numbers. I just, like I said, I started rapping just on some to help therapy, you know, therapy my mind type yeah. shit. You feel me? It wasn't even for the clout or none of that shit because I was, I didn't care for the music like that. I just started taking it serious when the love started coming back. Mm -hmm. That's when I was like, all right, you know, dang, views, niggas is fucking with me. I, I, we going out. It's hella. Homies in the park, niggas is coming up to me like, blood, you you so hard, blood, you feel me? Niggas is, is fucking with me, so I'm like, you know, I might take this shit serious. You know, I might be hard, I don't know. And that's kind of how it came about. Like, I just started really taking this shit serious, my nigga, like, I did. Say you weren't getting those views and stuff, do you think you still would have been taking it serious? or was it I don't you know if I like took it serious, that? but I probably still would have been doing it, because I ain't gonna lie, I like hearing myself. I like the music I make. I love it. I be giving myself like chill bumps. I be every morning. I ain't gonna lie on some on some real shit. Every morning I play my music. I play a different album. I play a different song. It's just depending on how I'm feeling. But I be surprised with what I make. 
I'm, I'm finesse because, like I said, any beat you can throw, whether it's rock and roll, hip, I can do it. On some real shit, I've done it. I can send it to you. I've done it. I've done every style of music just because I got that bored. Yeah. I was like, I'm tired of listening to me. Oh, uh, we nigga, we sliding in. I don't want to hear that. I didn't want to hear that at the point. And I was like, I'm finna try some different shit. Okay. And I started making different music. And I was like, damn, it's still good. That's yeah. crazy. I'm like, damn, I thought this shit was going to be stupid. I thought I was just fucking around. And it came out like I was shocked. So I was just like, I started making hella music, man. Like I said, this shit's it's therapy. This shit therapy, bro. Like, this shit is therapy. Okay. Go deeper on, like, the therapy part a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You mean, it helps relax me. You feel me? It, it, it not only relaxes me, I feel like it relaxes some of the homies. Because some of the homies be like, bro, you said some real shit in that song. Like, I felt that. Yeah. And I'm like, you was listening that deep? You show? That's that's some real shit. And niggas repeat the l lyrics right back to me. And I be like, yeah. that's what's up. I'm glad that, you know, because... Just because I'm who I am, I don't. It's that's not that I don't go through certain situations everybody else go through. You feel me? So they can relate to some yeah, of my yeah. situations, and that's what I be just rapping about. You feel me? Like I just be rapping about my situations, how I overcame it, the shit I went through, all that. You feel me? So if you can relate to certain things I'd have been through, you probably gonna continue to listen. Nah, that's real. Okay. Um, well, I know you've dropped some other videos on other channels like the one with AP and stuff. Would you would you still say those two are your biggest? Hey, visual? look, I'm gonna keep it G. That shit, I'm shocked that only got the, the views it got. Yeah. I thought that was gonna shoot to 20K and these other videos was gonna be where that yeah, is. Yeah. I, I was shocked. I was like, come on, I'm like, this AP nigga, you can't even get your hands on this man sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Like, for real, I'm like, for real, because I didn't really reach out to niggas like that. Trev, on some real shit, he my cousin. Like, we really related. Like, yeah. I don't even be jiving. Like, he know what's up. You feel me? Like, his dad, Trevor, all them, them is my people. Okay. So, I ain't gonna lie. I, when I was rapping, even back then, when I showed him the shit with Lust, Trev told me some, some shit. We was in a barbershop. He was like, he was jamming, and he was like, I ain't gonna lie. The, the quality's terrible. And I was like, well, I was like, yeah, I was like, well, fuck, damn, nigga, I thought you was gonna like this shit. He's just like, nah, you just gotta fix your quality, you feel me? But I mean, I took that as, fuck it, you feel me? I'm gonna just grind harder, I feel you. So it's like, I didn't even reach out to them. They just realized the talent as it grew. Mm -hmm. And niggas was like, hey, bro, you you tight. Oh, God, you not, we can we can work. I know we can, you yeah. feel me? Like, I, I know we can, you feel me? I know I know the, uh, the talent I come with, you feel me? Like I said, they've said it out their own mouths. Literally, AP didn't say niggas really can't fuck with me or on no type of level or style, and these words out of his mouth. No, nah, like, he was on my ass. You can't, you can't. How you gonna argue with the top one of the top dogs out yeah. here? He's telling you, like he's yeah. done heard what I'm capable of. That's why I'm like, you be sleep a little bit. Yeah. I'm like, you be sleep, bro. I'm like, I don't think you giving the hood the recognition it should be, but I'm like, you just you a little bit sleep, but it's cool because we tapped in. You feel me? Yeah. Like we tapped in, but I'm like, you gotta realize there's some talent over here. It's some real talent. It ain't just. It ain't just Aurora, you feel me? And I love my Aurora niggas. I ain't got nothing against them because they putting on for the city. But I'm just saying, you know, it's some talent out here too, for real. And you've heard it from the top dog. So look this direction. Yeah. Look this direction. It's, it's some real shit over here. No, that is real because AP, um, he usually don't be like saying too much about the list. But when I dropped the last list, he he only brought you up. He was like, nah, like... You gotta, that's you gotta what, have finesse B on there. So that's what I'm right. saying. And not only that, uh, I got I got plenty of songs with AP. I got plenty of songs with Trev Rich. Yeah. You can't tell me anybody can tell you the same thing. Oh, you got plenty of songs with AP? You got plenty of songs with Trev, too? Like, I do. Oh, and they're bangers. Too, and they're bangers. And I mean, like, we've really worked. I really tapped in with big dogs. You feel me? I ain't tap. I mean, me and 100 Pack Savvy, we didn't have some, we didn't have some conversations. You feel me? We got some shit supposedly in the work, but I don't, I don't press nobody about nothing. You feel yeah. me? You get it done, you get it done. You don't, you don't. I'm going to always do me, though. You feel me? So I don't, I'm not really afraid to do features with a lot of people because your crowd and my crowd is important. When they collide, you know, that's publicity for both right, of us. Right. You feel me? So it's, it ain't nothing wrong with colliding, but, you know, there's still politics behind certain things. So we right. try to keep it music and try to keep it, you know, honestly safe and all that. Because right. being a rapper is dangerous. Everybody know that. It don't matter. It, you know, it, you're being a rapper is dangerous. No, 20,000 views, I don't know 20,000 people. Right. 
So do you get recognized a lot around the Oh, of course. Now? I didn't, I, but I got love, though. Like, we done pulled right. up to the gas station, got free gas, niggas, and it was like, you finesse, oh, you, you, who? Yeah. They, so I done got some love. It was cool with it, but it's dangerous at the same time. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm from where I'm from, and that's just that simple. You feel me? It's yeah. still what it is. So it's, it's, it's just I got to keep a close eye on my surroundings. That's why I made that shit with, with AP. You feel me? You got you to gotta, you gotta just keep a close eye, but not just speaking real shit. It's a good song at the same time. It's a good song. <laughs> As far as Park Hill Living, let's talk about your latest album you just dropped. Yeah. I definitely like the cover on it. I feel like you did. In fact, I just dropped a clip with Sean Cotton the other day from Say Cheese talking about Denver rappers need to talk about, you know, what's, what's going on in the city. And I feel like the album was a perfect example for other artists to learn, too. You know what I'm saying? You just speaking. Yeah, it was a mixture of everything. And plus, I made Park Hill Living because we lost a lot of homies in, like, 2020, man. It was It was real hard for us. So I just, I made that album. That's why I was Park Hill living, like strictly just Park Hill, you feel me? Made tributes to the homies. That's, that was really it. And uh, it's some bangers on there, but like my other albums, compared to Park Hill, you notice it's more of like, like it's, it's hood shit, but it's more like a lot of party. So I don't know, if you listen, if you listen, there's some party tracks in there. Yeah. And Park Hill living, it really wasn't that. It was, it was a lot of motion behind it. That's what I could say. It was just a lot of motion behind it. No, that, that was a dope album. You have features from, obviously, Trevor Rich. Yeah, and, and like I said, no, and those are still features yeah. that are slept on. I feel. You feel me? Yeah. Like, you know, when you on Apple, you see what's starred and what get played the most. Them aren't starred, and I don't know why. Well, that just tells you that people actually like hearing you. Yeah, yeah, you feel me. But, but it's always important to obviously get those solid features. And yeah, I feel you, too. I feel you, too. I'm going to start dropping uh, singles and uh, shorter albums as well. Because, like I said, I got so much music, I be trying to push shit out. I be just trying to push tracks out, but sometimes I should just do six, seven, eight little track albums because, I mean, personally, I just feel like not a nigga, not everybody want to hear me song for song yeah. for an album. Some people be like, nah, all right, you know, he cool, turn him off. I want to hear something else. I'm like that sometimes. I don't always want to just hear me. I be like, shit, yeah, that's cool. Sometimes you got to just shorten things up, I feel. Because the too long of an album, they ain't going to get through it. They're going to get halfway through it and probably yeah. turn it off. It don't matter who you is. I done done that to people that are popping out here. Eh, it's cool. Yeah, I've turned it off. <laughs> like, it's cool, though. Like, I'm not saying it ain't it ain't a good album. It's just sometimes, you know, everybody don't got the same ear, I guess. You know, it's just different. No, it's real. Okay. Uh, so since we've been talking about a couple of other artists, is there anyone out here you do want to do features or collaborations with? I can't even pick because, like I said, I'm really not a pick and choose type person. Like, if you want to work with me, you work with me. If you don't, you don't. You feel me? Like, I don't got nobody specifically. Back then, I did. It was like AP. It was like Trev. Yeah. Them were the features I shot for, and I went and got them. So, you know, I went and did stuff like that. I'm, I'm on bigger and better things. You feel me? Like, I said, I may be a rookie in the game when it comes to the music because y'all just now noticing, but I've been rapping since eighth grade. I don't, I don't call myself no. I'm a vet for real life because it's easy. You can't even apply the same pressure as I apply when it comes to this music shit or my ethic. You're not your ethic. You can't even match mine. And that's how I feel. Real life. That's just me. But... That. What about out of state? Is there anyone? Out of oh yeah, and that's what I want to do. Like I said, I'm I'm ready to tap in with big big dogs. And that's the whole plan in 2020. Believe it or not, you gonna see though. I don't even gotta do too much talking because I'm gonna tap in with real life people that can help me. I don't wanna even really call it like I don't wanna work with nobody. I just don't wanna work with nobody if you can't help me. You feel me? That's why I charge for features. I'm like, you know, I know I'm not even. I don't charge nothing crazy. I be charging seventy five dollar features, but it's it's cool because I've been a broke nigga before. I'm not going to whack you 300, 200 yeah. when Trev and them don't even do that. Who do you right. think you are? Right. Who the fuck do you think you are, bro, when you can't, bro, come on, you can't even amount to the big dog, so don't try to be charging 300, 500. Bro, I get you got to eat, but, bro, let's keep it G. Well, we in the same state. Yeah. We in the same, we ain't, you ain't went nowhere. Nobody's really went nowhere when it came to this music out of state. Nobody's really blue like that, except I could say Trev. Who has you really seen do like reach the top like that? Like and get real close. I mean, you know, FPB Mohe reached a million views, but shit, Scram's got a million views. True, true. That shit really kinda don't matter no more. Yeah. Like YouTube, no, that, yeah, it, it don't matter no more. You don't even get paid much for that. Yes, million views, ten dollars. I ain't even yeah. a lot of money. Real shit, it's not money. Yeah. You don't even get paid for that. Like you don't. So you know, like I said, if you really can't help me, I wanna do bigger and better things. I wanna mm -hmm. I might even start writing music for people. I don't know. I got to find other elements because 
I don't want to stay in this same boat and just be rapping. I want to I want to keep rising. You feel me? I gotta keep stepping up. I take it serious. I'm trying to really go somewhere with this shit. Nobody want to be stuck in the hood. Yeah. How many people you know die in their own section? Too many. People. Exactly. You don't want to be stuck. You want to elevate. You want to elevate. You want to try to get your people up out of here. Not only that, or help rebuild community. You want to do something. Right. You want to do something though. I don't want to just be a nigga that's rapping. I wanna, I wanna help my community on some real shit. I'm from here, nigga. This is where I grew up. <laughs> we on the block, 29th. That's rude. Okay. Uh, how do you feel about the list and stuff like that? I know, you know, we've obviously talked. I about wanted it. to fight you, bro, right. on some real shit. I was just like, that's not. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, what? I was like, come on, bro. I just, I was like, I, like I said, I feel like you just wasn't tapping in. Yeah. You just was looking at, or you kind of just was fucking with people you knew. I mean that is true. It does like it takes me to be able to learn about. And I understood that you feel me. And I and I get that. Like I said, I just felt like you were fucking with people you knew. And I'm like, you put people that was rapping for three months at the top. I was just like, dang, bro, he ain't, he ain't hurt us or something like that. Damn, you feel me? So I was just, you know, I wasn't like hella mad because I'm like it's a list. But I'm just like, his list matters to some people. Obviously, yeah. his list matters, so I'm like, you know, show some respect. That's it. Just put some respect on our name. That's all I was basically saying. I'm like, we ain't no honorable mention. We on the list for sure. That's real. Like, PH on the list for sure. Don't ever forget that. We we on the list, and that's just facts, bro. Like, we on the list, bro. And you, think you we should do more lists, or I mean, that's up to you, bro. You the one that make the list. I I, I don't really think the list. Do nothing but cause arguments. Cause even yeah, if you make a list, argument, even yeah. if you make a list right now, and just cause I'm telling you put us on a list, somebody gonna have something to say about it. Right. It, it don't matter yeah, what list you, you make. On, it might not be you that. Has yeah, to somebody gonna have something to say about it. That's just how they feel. A lot of people probably don't even like us. I don't know. There's haters out there that don't like our music. They say we suck, we trash. I guess. I mean, even famous people get called suck. Like you trash. Yeah, right. You can't. You got to say. Yeah, you ignore the next. It's only gonna get worse. Yeah. The bigger you get, the only it's only gonna get worse. That's why I ignore the comments and stuff. There's negative comments in all our videos. People talking shit to us. Like you feel me? But I mean, you see the baby replying to any of these people? No. It, you don't. You don't. You. It's only gonna get worse. You kind of just ignore the negativity and shit, and you just keep it pushing. That's how I do it. You ain't putting no money in my pocket. No, but thanks for the view. For Thanks it. for the view. Inspired you growing up with the music stuff. So. Like I said, I may not be that old, young and old, but I grew up to old school music, man. I was listening to, you feel me, Two Show, Fody. I grew up on what, Ludacris, Ti, all of them. You feel me, the the early two thousand rappers and shit, and they was hard to me. You feel me, like they was. I was listening to uh, even um, a lot of Bay rappers. Like I don't know if you know. Uh, niggas that made this dance and stuff, you feel yeah. me? Like, you know, I was listening to a lot of just, you know, in, in inner city shit. But uh, a lot of what inspired me, I guess, the most when it come to, I guess, a big rapper or whatever, it was definitely Foggy, bro. It was definitely Foggy. He was probably one of the hardest niggas to me when I was growing up. Like, okay. he was hard. He was hard, bro. He was hard. And then when it come to, like, like I say, like, hood, like, people in my section, like, Sneaky Boy Tramp, definitely one of them. He was he was cold to me, you feel me? YG was cold, BIP YG, you feel me? So them niggas right there, they kind of set the tone too for Park Hill when it came to music too. They they really set the tone, like bro, they did, you feel me? Like Wax too, Wax was rapping. It was it was a few niggas like in the section rapping back then. I don't know if you seen it. even even I don't know you seen the hard in the hills. Your AP was rapping. It was it was a few niggas back then like setting the tone. So I seen that though, you feel me? And I'm like you know they tight. Yeah. I'm like, that shit tight, you know, I can do that too. Right. So them, like, you want to talk about, like, in my circle, they influenced me. Like, they, they influenced me to rap. But, like, my big cousins and stuff, a lot of people was just from my from around here in Park Hill. So I, I was influenced by a lot of people good, good. It wasn't always bad. It was just, it was a lot of positive. We just taught each other how to survive around here, man. No, that's real. That Hard in the Hills video was actually probably the first rap video I've ever seen from Colorado. Really? Yeah. 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 That thing did some numbers too. No, yeah. It's that almost at a million, right? I don't know what I don't know what it's at, to be honest. I don't know what it's at. But you feel me like that that's kind of what inspired me though. I was like I felt like the hood needed a new spark of sound. Right, yeah. Like Yeah, that video was well, Yeah, that was that was a little old, but we just we didn't have nobody else kinda keeping the energy alive and I mean shit, we was next up in line and it came to it. 
So we we started doing the music and we started representing Park Hill and that's what we did. You feel me? Like representing in a lot of positive ways. You, as you see, you feel me? We we making shit happen around here. You feel me? It ain't like people ain't think it's all about street shit. It ain't. Right. It ain't. You feel me? Like we got positive shit going on around this motherfucker. We really do. No, that's right. And that's that's all it is. You feel me? Like Big Cardizzi. You feel me? Big Belo. Them is them is one of my my leaders though. When it come to this music shit too, they keep they keep us in line as you see. They keep us, you feel me, on track with it. They even get mad when we post dumb shit, cause on God they like you feel me, stick to the rapping. That's what you're gonna do. I mean, that's how you're gonna help us. But you helping me staying on me, you feel me? Like I said, if I ain't have I ain't have a dad, but they ain't they ain't like my dad, but they they them them peers, you feel me? Right, right. That can at least, you know, keep you in line. It's not that I'm trying to tell you what to do. It ain't even it ain't even that. You feel me? We all grown. It's just, you know, it's certain ways you got to move. And we going to teach you. We've been here longer than you. We've been doing this longer than you. You kind of can't argue with that. No, that's right. You feel me? They still here for a reason, right? Still exactly. Making, you know, <laughs> making, making a movement. Man. Exactly. So that's that's kind of how it was, man. That's, you know, that's... What's, what's uh, one piece of advice you could give to any, you know, artist in Denver or anyone that's trying to, like, start making music? Keep working. Don't stop if you want to, if you want it. I mean, if you want it, just keep going, man, for real, because I ain't stopping. I'm, I'm knee deep in this shit now. I can't stop. Yeah. No, that's real. That's yeah, you just got to keep going, man. Don't give up. Like, you give up and shit. I mean, you might as well give up on everything else you do in life that you love, at least. Right. You love this, then do it. I, I don't some real shit. You can do anything you put your mind to. No real shit you can. In a matter of some crazy shit. It's some good shit, bad shit. You can do it, though. That's what you want to do. You can do it. You just got to, you know, kind of have some, of course, have some talent behind it. And even nowadays, you probably could just have some money. There's a lot of people in the industry that ain't even good to me. And they just, they got money, though. You know, you can know people. So I'm going to do whatever it takes, period. Like, I'm going to do whatever it takes. And I'm going to make sure that, you know, we at the top. And that's just what it is. So I represent it. It's top. I'm going to make sure we get there. No, I'm glad you brought that up too, cause um, you know, in my interview with Sean, he Colin, he was also talking about how like once you get into the music industry, there really ain't no going back. Like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's dumb to go back. I mean, especially if you kind of getting some clout and all that. Like, don't even do that. You feel me? Just keep going, bro. Keep going. You're only gonna get yeah. better. I feel that shit. Keep practicing. You're only gonna get better. I'm only gonna make hotter music, better music. Yeah. You feel me? I just keep up with the generation and the wave of music. That's all it is. Yeah. Keep up with it. How do you feel about the Colorado scene? Do you feel like it's progressed a lot since you first started? Or do you yeah. feel like it's kind of slowed down? Like, it it progressed, it? but like everybody you ask, they'll tell you the same shit. Colorado got a problem with what? Hating on each other. Like that's just what, that's, we ain't never going to be nobody doing that. You feel me? It ain't, oh, he hard. Let's support him. Oh, nigga, I'm better than him. Right. Okay, well, you can keep rapping, but you ain't got to, you know, Tell a motherfucker you trying to be better than them because you just sound like you're trying to bring them down. Right. You can't even have the uh, perfect positive mindset to keep moving forward when all you want to do is be in the next person's shoes. Make them right. Okay, yeah, right. just be in your own shoes. You feel me? And, and make your own path, be your own way. It's, it'll be there. It'll be there. But you can't. You can't try to step on the next man's shoes or step in his shoes mm -hmm. because you feel or think that you're better than the next person. You feel me? So. Right. You gotta just keep yeah, growing. Like if that's that's definitely my advice to any artist out there. You gotta just keep grinding. You feel me? Like don't stop. Period. Like don't stop. What do you think we need to do to get to that next level? Do you think we just gotta start showing more love to each other? Is there stuff outside of that? Like, well, I mean, we can. We gotta stick together. But we try. We try. I mean, we gotta. We gotta really try to like. Like I don't know, bro. Like it's really. It's really hard. Cause at this point. It's so many artists out here. You would have think we would have been somewhere yeah, by now. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, who am I to tell the next man how to feel about that man? You feel me? You obviously, ain't, we ain't giving enough support regardless. Whether it's to you, me, him, it's not enough support. And that's our problem, bro. We we don't support the right way. Like I said, and, and I ain't gonna lie, to keep the spotlight in Denver is hard. Mm -hmm. You can fade away that fast. Like, bro, I done seen plenty of artists on some real shit, like was popping, and you don't hear about them no more. Right. You just don't, it because you don't. You gotta have an ethic behind it too, though. Right. You gotta have that work ethic. You can't just drop a couple songs. Yeah, they tight, but you burn off real quick in Denver. You, that spotlight is there for a second, 
You feel me? Even times I feel like, dang, my spotlight is not as big as it was when I dropped my first two albums. My first two albums, I felt like, boy, I might be on to something. But second few albums, I just expected more. Yeah. But, you know, that's just Denver. That's one thing I keep in the back of my head. That's Denver. I get all my love, believe it or not, from Cali. Like, yeah. a lot of my Instagram followers, they Cali niggas. They Cali, bro. They, I mean, I make a Cali style. You know, we, I, I make, like, West Coast-type music. So they, they vibe with it. Of course, they can relate to it. But them are the ones that always going to support you, the ones out of state. Just like the ones that can come out of state here, Denver will love. Right, right. Weird. Yeah. Just weird. That's just weird as fuck. Like, yeah. I don't get that <laughs> shit. That's weird. But that's just, I guess, society, bro. Yeah. And I can't change that, bro. As much as I want it to change, it ain't going to change, bro. Do you feel like, so you feel like it's kind of like that with every city where it's like wherever you're from, that's where you, obviously you're going to get. The yeah, but, love, other, but other cities know how to, to, other cities know how to love. I feel like Denver don't know how to do that. Other cities really know how to show support because they've had artists make it out of their states. They know how to do something right. We're obviously not doing something right. They know how to do something right, though, because there's artists that have made it out of their city and they've gotten the support and hate. We just got hate. We ain't got, <laughs> <laughs> we can't, we can't balance it out. So I'm like, you know, I can't tell Denver to get it together. Denver got to get it together. And when they do, I'm probably going to be at the top. That ain't going to be my problem. Nah, that's true. I, I can care less who don't really fuck with me out here. Like I said, my views is really out of state, and that's just how it is. You feel me? That's how it is. What do you have any upcoming projects, videos, any tapes, anything on the uh, way people be on the lookout? For? I can't. I don't know if I can name anything personally, project wise, because it just kind of comes to me. Mm -hmm. I kind of try. I'm going to spread it out. I dropped two albums last year. I probably gotta put a hold on it. Probably not gonna drop another album till summer. Till summer? And I, it just depends on how I'm feeling. If I feel like I done made six bangers in a week and I feel like an album gotta go out, it might yeah. go out. <laughs> it might just go out, but I don't I don't know too many projects coming up. I'm working on shows and I'm working on doing big shit. I'm still working on tapping in with Mozzie, Selly Rue, people that I can relate to, people yeah. that make good me or the music I listen to, you feel me? I'm working with tapping in, like I said, with big dogs. This Denver shit, it's Denver, but I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to tap in with bigger fish, and I'm gonna pay for it, and that's just that. It's gonna come back. Do you have any visuals on the way? I know you be shooting a lot with. Uh, I got. Well, we got some things in the planning. I can go shoot. I just, I want to plan it. I don't want to shoot no more videos where we just standing outside. We just all turn. I really want to go back to the shit that I grew up on, nigga. Every music video had a story scene, something to it growing up. BT, watch it. It was always the goddamn movie before yeah. the damn. That's why I kind of did the uh, shit with me and AP different. They had, you know, little breaks in it and little shit because I didn't. I wanted to give something that people can watch. You feel me? Like I said, don't nobody want to just hear you all day. I want to see you too. I want to see some different shit though, too. I don't want to see just. Y'all standing outside, turn waving flags or whatever. Like, nah, that's played out. I did that. I'm moving up. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the different bloggers and interviewers and stuff like that in the city? Mm, I don't. I don't know too many. I mean, you and street nerds. That <laughs> y'all like the only ones that got attention like that to me. I don't know no other big uh, uh, bloggers bigger than y'all, at least. I mean, I could be sleeping on them, yeah. but I mean, that ain't my job to sleep on them. Right. I'm the artist. Right. Reach out to me if you want to be known as a blogger. I won't know you. So, What do you think we can do, platforms can do better to, to help the scene grow? I think y'all should come out with a radio station or something, strictly for Denver. Something. I think Denver will tap in. Yeah. But... I think personally, like I said, y'all should just promote a lot more people in Denver and my highlight, you know, I just, just promote the people that aren't getting looked at because there's some talent out here, bro. There's some talent. I know you try to be getting to everything, but personally, I don't think you should be really tapping into the Springs and shit. You know, this Denver, yeah. you tapping into all the shit down here, you know, like, cause you looking past when people going to Colorado Springs. Mm -hmm. Way out there, you ain't even seen some of these people down here. That's, real. That's all I be saying. So, you know, when it come to y'all, as bloggers, I just feel like y'all should just be a little more involved with some of these artists. And when you do, you probably get more better results at a lot of things. You probably get a lot more results y'all looking for, too. You feel me? Y'all bloggers. That's what y'all y'all looking for. Y'all looking for 
that 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 shit. So uh, yeah, yeah. top five Colorado rappers unbiased. Your opinion. Mm. Top five that got the clout, or just my opinion of who, who I feel is the best. No, that's a good one. Um, like, is this facts, or are we just going off my opinion? Everybody from Park Hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, everybody from Park Hill. <laughs> Regardless, that's how I feel. Cause like I said, I support my niggas, but if you want to speak facts, views, subscribers, and shit, we we know who. Like you know, Honey Packs up there, <laughs> SPB Mo's up there, AP's up there, Trev's up there. Uh, who else? You know, I can even say people like Priest. People be sleep on Priest too. On God, you feel me? He been in the game for a while too. Priest been in the game, so you know them is them is dogs. Like I said, I've been doing it. Uh, when it come to their views and they subscribers, they shitting on the city. They, they shitting on the city. Who from the Bells that you know got crazy views? That shitting on the city. I feel like that he'd be good for the all-time list. He was on my all-time list. Yeah, I'm over here like, who the fuck is that? Nah, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah, maybe I just like I ain't tapped into certain sceneries, but I know when it comes to now. You want to go on my personal list? Yeah, personal. Boy, uh, you want to go on my personal list? Yeah, personal. Yeah, you want to go on my personal list? Yeah, personal. Boy, uh. Who's really been catching my eye on some real shit? G Rilla, bro. That nigga been catching my motherfucking eye. And I, I'm gonna tell you why. It's because the, he speak real shit. And not only he speaking real shit, nigga, the courses are crazy. Like, they're, they're go. Like, it, it sounds like some radio play. Like, this should be on the The nigga hard. The nigga hard. You feel me? He a young nigga that reminded me a lot of me. He just a different style. You feel me? He got that new wave of style, but he reminded me a lot of me. I'm like, bro, you. You keep pushing. You got that. You got that sauce. A lot of niggas was telling me like, nigga, you got that sauce. But I'm like, I look at him and I'm like, bro, you got that sauce. You don't even know it. But he he nice, bro. Like, so he he up there. You feel me? Of course, my niggas hit the braids, active. They they one of the coaches to me, for real. And uh, it's just fool, bro. It's hard when they come to personal list, bro. That's hard. But them them names for show sure, though. Them names for show. Sure. And like I said, they they doing their thing, bro, and they only can go up from here. They only can go up. Right, and that's yeah. that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, hell yeah. Um, where can people find you on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, all that? Yeah. Finesse B, the one and only, you feel me? Like F-I-N-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, capital B, big B. And same thing on uh, Instagram, Finesse B, 2900. It's real simple. Like, it ain't, you know, you type my name in, my shit gonna pop up. It's that simple. What's the first song you want the people to go check out if there's any first song or video? Check it all out. I can't I can't sit Check here and say nothing specifically. Right. Check it all out. Yeah, just all of it. I mean, all the shit. Me and Scrams just dropped. Me, Scrams and Hit a Braze, we just dropped a track uh and a video. So go tap into that. Go tap into all my shit, man. You feel me? Like, cause a lot of the shit you're gonna be able to either relate to or you're gonna fuck with it regardless. Oh, yeah. Uh, the name of what on my albums? No, 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 no. Any, any just like the. So oh, okay. Well, you say, know, say, tap in. Uh, say like a label was to come up to you like, hey, I want to check out your music. What would be like the first video in your head that you're like, oh, they gotta see this one. It either be hit them up or still bracket. I mean, uh, yeah, still bracket with me and Scrams. Okay. That got sit. That almost got eighty thousand views. That's the most views I've ever gotten at anything. Me and him when me and him collided. It was it, it woke the city up on some real shit. Like I didn't know that was gonna do numbers like that neither. You feel me? Like we on our way up with that. But me tapping in with like I said, Scrams and shit. He got a lot of people. He's really from Inglewood, like yeah. in Inglewood bread. So a lot of his fans fuck with me. A lot of nigga. Every time niggas go out there and shit, they tell me all the time niggas be asking about you. You feel me? Yeah. Like you need to come out here and tap in with people. That's why I like tapped in with niggas from the family and shit like Munchie B. Like he's real big out there. Like they're big in the music out there. And I tapped in with, with certain people just to also get the feel and love that I should be getting here. It's getting there. Cause they like, hey, you nice. I, we fuck with that shit for sure. Like just know you got, we got you over here. Like we fucking with you. People in the pen listen to my shit. Literally, like I'm hearing it. I'm getting messages. I get messages all the time, and that's what also keeps me motivated, bro. Niggas, I'll wake up to a message from a random nigga, like, bro, your shit so hard. Like, I listen to you every day, and I'd be like, damn, you? Like, I would never expect you, but all right, cool. I, I fuck with it. That's that keeps me pushing on God. Like, 
that make me realize like it ain't just the set listening. It ain't just niggas listening, bro. It's all cultures. It's a real life all cultures listening, bro. Yeah, and I love it. Oh, yeah. Now that's true though because shit, I be getting a lot of love when I went to Texas and stuff. It was just that's so how it's supposed to be, you feel me? Like, I mean, you're supposed to give love, man. It's world full of hate, and that's just it. Okay, man. You got any, like, shout-outs, any final thoughts, any last-minute things you want to speak on? Shout-out to Black Top. Shout-out to No Half Entertainment, you feel me? We the realest brand in the city, and y'all know what's up, nigga. You can't argue with me. You want to argue, you know where to meet me. We in the set with it. But just know that, you know, I'm a shout-out. That's what I'm a shout-out, <laughs> The top in the uh, halftime. That's what we doing. That's what we doing over here. Oh yeah! Shout out to my high minute too. You know, shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all doing this interview. You feel me? Tapped in with a real nigga. You feel me today? And I enjoyed the interview for sure. Uh, yeah, I appreciate you, man. And, you know, you know. Shout out to my dogs back here. You know, we ain't, we in this motherfucker <laughs> thick. Just know that we always in this motherfucker <laughs> thick. <laughs> so yeah, shout out to the homies for sure. Yeah, shout out Cardizi. Make sure y'all go shout shop out that, big that no Put halftime Put the big merch. in front of it. <laughs> go shop that half, no halftime merch, man. We, we yeah, because yeah, we got it. We got it. You feel me? I love PH. You love PH. You feel me? That's how we rocking. Yeah, All right, man. Well, I appreciate the interview. Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button. <laughs> comment down below. Subscribe. You feel me? Finesse me. Yeah, comment down below who you want to see next in the Maha Minute. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure y'all go follow Finesse B on everything. <laughs> All his links, Instagram, YouTube, all that will be in the description. Hey man, this has been a legendary interview. Maha Minute, number one podcast in the universe. Yeah.